concept nested loops loop if you write a loop within the loop we call it as nested loops so for i in range of 1 to 5 this is one loop what is the body of this loop so whatever you write inside this is what we call it as body of the loop so these two statements belongs to the body of the loop assume that for understanding purpose this is outer loop and what is the body of this loop these two statement belongs to this body of the outer loop so what we have written inside the body again we have written a loop for j in range of 1 to 5 loop within the loop we call it as nested loop so for j in range of 1 to 5 what is the body of this inner loop assume that this is inner loop so the body of this inner loop that's why we have given indentation here print i comma j we are going to display i and j value so how it is going to execute that is the point you need to get clarity once you get you got the clarity so writing coding is very very easy so coming to the concept for i in range of 1 to 5 what are the values that belongs here 1 2 3 4 5 is not considered 1 2 3 4 so i is going to take 1 it go and execute the body i is going to take 2 it will execute the body i is going to take 3 it will execute the body i is going to take 4 it will execute the body this outer loop is going to execute four times so now first time first time first iteration i is equal to 1 execute the body so what's there in the body again loop is there so execute this loop with i is equal to 1 this complete loop has to be executed so what is this inside loop j in range of 1 to 5 means j is going to take the values 1 2 3 4 it has to complete all the iterations with i is equal to 1 it has to execute four times with i is equal to 2 again execute the loop means it has to complete again four times with i is equal to 3 again this inner loop has to execute complete four times with i is equal to 4 again this inner loop has to execute four times this is how it is going to execute 